According to Game Informer, it has now been confirmed that all remaining Year 1 exotic weapons, other than the two raid-specific ones, will be coming forwards in the Rise of Iron. So this means, unfortunately, the Vex Mythoclast and the Necrochasm will be staying behind for now since they are tied to the Year 1 raids. So until they get updated or brought forward somehow, we're yet to see an updated version of these weapons. You have probably already heard about the Galahorn returning in the Rise of Iron, which is very fitting since it fits in with the story of the Iron Lords, and you will now be able to forge your own Galahorn rocket launcher. Bungie have confirmed that this will be a quest-based exotic where you will have to search for the parts and forge it yourself. I would say it is going to be like the Touch of Malice questline. A lot of people have said Black Spindle mission, but I'm thinking more towards Touch of Malice because that was an actual proper questline in which you find the parts to be able to forge a weapon. It is never going to be the be all end all weapon that it was in year one, but I believe that since the mechanics in the game have changed, and because it is going to be a quest based exotic and be a challenge to actually earn, I would say it will be a very powerful weapon, just not the easy button that it was in year one. The next weapon that it's also been confirmed by Game Informer is the Thorn. A lot of people will have mixed opinions on this weapon coming back. Personally, I think it is a good thing as it is a vital part in the lore, as are all exotics, and I feel that exotics should feel exotic and be brought through with the storyline all the way through because they are unique weapons and armor that you can get and they tie in with the lore. As far as the dreaded exotic hand cannon meta days from House of Wolves where the thorn and the last word were the king of the crucible, to a lesser extent the hawk moon on PlayStation, but it was mainly the thorn and the last word everywhere. The last word is again one of the best primaries in the game, but due to hand cannon nerfs, it is no longer that easy to use at long range as it was. As far as the thorn is concerned, it has been nerfed heavily. The damage over time is almost non-existent because it is so low and it is a three shot precision kill weapon, which fits into that type of archetype with hand cannon. Also due to the hand cannon nerfs, the stability is a lot more important on weapons, so accurized ballistics is most likely going to be a must for this weapon, and perfect balance may even be a better option than send it, just because of the damage drop off of hand cannons. As it sits right now in regular crucible where power does not matter, it is actually a very well balanced weapon in my opinion. Yes, it is a powerful weapon, and is definitely a competitive weapon, but it is nowhere near being as overpowered as it used to be. The next weapon that has been stated to be making a return, yet not officially announced how it will be coming back into the game, is the Pocket Infinity. I think that this would be a great weapon to be a, another quest-based exotic, because the Pocket Infinity technology could fit in with the Siva tech, that is coming into Rise of Iron, and I think it'll be a, definitely an interesting weapon to have back in the game. And finally, the last exotic weapon left to be brought forwards from Year 1, other than the two raid-specific weapons, is the Icebreaker. This was one of my favourite weapons in Year 1, purely because of how unique the weapon is, and it is pretty cool to have a weapon that doesn't pick up normal ammo but regenerates its own ammo over time which I think is a really cool concept although a lot of people didn't like it because it promoted passive play. This passive play in an effort to be removed by nerfing sniper off was especially the icebreaker with the charge time being increased has actually made the problem worse because now snipers are no longer as likely to pull off the close range shots that people used to be able to do. So, in other words, to remove that risk, people are just going to sit back and snipe. 
this heavy nerfing that the icebreaker has had done to it in my opinion is a bad thing because it makes the exotic a lot less desirable and won't be used as often because the times when the increased zoom is actually going to be beneficial is not very often that you're going to come across enemies a long while away that you'll be able to just pick off. Either way, I am happy that it's coming back, as all exotics should be in the game at all times, as they're a vital part of the lore, and it adds variety to the game, as well as something cool to collect and have fun using. Let me know in the comments down below which weapons you either are or are not looking forward to returning in the Rise of Iron, and how you would like to see them earned.